What is up everyone, Sean here and welcome to my review for Yakuza Kiwami 2. This time I'm going to be doing the rapid fire uh, review that I kind of mentioned in the stream. Uh, I wanted to, you know, uh, get out of the way and uh, meanwhile uh, I want to focus on uh, Fist of North Star Lost Paradise, which I'm having fun so far. But anyway, um, this is about Yakuza Kiwami 2, uh, which I beat not too long ago. Uh, and I'm definitely ready now to give my verdict on the game overall. So let's definitely focus on the things I liked about the game uh, first. So uh, right off the bat, the graphics, of course, are you know good. Um, just like how it was with uh, Yakuza 6. That's pretty much where it started with the Dragon Engine. And it definitely helps make Yakuza 2 look very good for the PS4 generation. So... Um, the, that Kiwami treatment is definitely paying off in that in that department. So um, all the uh, cinematography, the camera angles, and everything, and how they do like the um, depth of field kind of those kind of shots, like up close um, shots of the characters' faces and stuff like that. The facial animations and all that, um, for the most part, are pretty good. And um, it's just it's so crazy of how far um, you know these games have gone uh, have gone. You know. And, in the graphics uh, department, um, it's such a huge jump, especially for uh, for a game like Yakuza 2. So it's definitely you know really uh, showing the uh, the power of current gen technology. So um, the Dragon Engine is a great demonstration of that, and it de definitely does a good job in that. So um, the colors and everything, Kamen Roadshow and Sotim uh, Sotim Body. Um, look great as always and uh, well Salt and Body you know it's first time me seeing it so um that uh had a lot to uh, offer especially with the uh the a lot a lot of the references is, uh shows um in Salt and Body like all the cultural references or the um references that you see from uh, Osaka if anyone you know has made a trip there um although I haven't ma uh, made that trip myself maybe you know someday I, I would like to but um, there's a lot of like restaurants and just um, landmarks that get referenced in the game from Osaka. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, I believe so. Uh, so Timbori at uh, day or night, it looks um, awesome. You know, same goes for Kamen uh, you know, as always. So uh, yeah, but overall the graphics department you know, d nailed it uh, definitely right on the bat. So um, uh, the game looks great. Next thing I wanted to talk about is the story and the characters that I liked. Um, it was uh, it had, uh, definitely had a number of twists and turns. Uh, it was a lot more straightforward in comparison to you know Yakuza Six. You know, it, Yakuza Six felt like there's a lot of like turns and stuff like that. You don't know what's gonna happen, sort of, in in ways. And meanwhile, Yakuza Two is you know a lot more straightforward, like I said, and you kind of know where it's going in some ways so you can kind of relax and stuff like that you can kind of uh you know take it uh you know one step at a time sort of thing like <laughs> and meanwhile in six i want to know you know what was going to happen you know that kind of thing it's, it was like it's like trying to binge on um you know a certain anime that you really like and uh, meanwhile yeah because of two it's like because of what you know sort of what's coming you can like kind of take your time and uh, do all the sub stories or mini games and stuff like that, which uh, I will get to um, in a bit. So, um, but otherwise, the great story was great. Uh, it was much, uh, much enjoyable. It's you know not something not to um, you know cut short of. Um, you know, I love the the characters that were introduced, like Haoru and Ryuji. They were really fun characters to um, you know to see, and that was my first time seeing those two in the Yakuza game and um you know for what they did and stuff like that they were really cool and um they were really interesting and uh, I, I enjoyed their their time on the screen overall so um and also I uh, have to give it to um uh Jiro he, he was a really cool character as well uh they were actually able to model him after uh Susumu Terajima who is a you know a famous like Yakuza actor in Japan not you know an actor that's in the actual yakuza gang but um he's known to be in yakuza films and um he has got that distinct face with the the lips and everything and i thought that was really cool that they were able to do that for this game and it, and the dragon engine show, really shows off 
it great. Like it, he modeled his face, and he pretty much looks like he's in the game um, uh, himself. So, so that was really cool of them to recruit him of all people to be uh, to play as um, Jiro Ka um, Kawada. So um, he he did great. I uh, I really think that you know he you know played the character well, and um, and Jiro himself was a great character as well. And um, there's all there's also like the old faces like Date of course he you know he's cool as always and um, and you can't forget you know Haruka and of course um, uh, Majima which, which uh, I'll get to in a bit as well but um, but yeah overall the characters you know um, uh, overall were really enjoyable there, there there weren't really any any like annoyances the villains were great too um, especially the people from um, uh, the Omi Alliance and uh, and so Sengoku was quite the character. You know, he was a very rambunctious kind of um, in your face, sort of cocky. You know, that kind of character, and I, I enjoyed that from him. And um, yeah, it's pretty much uh, from uh, Omi. But yeah, um, well, yeah. Again, um, the, in the story and the characters in it were very enjoyable, and I think that alone um, should get you the game. But um, <laughs> I'll uh, wrap that up in the. Uh, in the end uh, of this video but uh, anyways let's move on to another thing that I liked about the game and um, it was uh, some of the, the mini games I enjoyed um, a good number of the mini games there was a uh, virtual fighter 2 there was virtual lawn um, you know that and you know those are the games from the classic days of Sega uh, that were shoved into this game and I, I thought they were you know, they're really cool to enjoy and um especially with virtual fighter 2 it's kind of like a very novelty sort of thing i never played virtual line and i thought that was a really neat experience i guess and um there were some other mini games that i um that i you know took time with uh golf but the most <laughs> the most time i put into uh for the mini games was the cabaret club you know there was some of this there's some story to it too it's like kind of kind of basic but still very interesting enough um but the overall just gameplay of it was just pretty simple and yet um, addicting in a very weird sense. Uh, you get to, it, it, it kind of has that like gotcha simulator feel to it. Um, you can collect like you know rare units or girls, I guess, and which act as the rare units. There's like um, three stars, four stars, and I guess five stars or whatever, or gold, silver, bronze, that sort of deal. And like I don't know, it, it, that felt like you know that gotcha. Um, game that um you know i i've been playing or that i've been picking up uh, as of late especially with like azure lane and fate go and um some of the other games like you know uh grand blue fantasy and um and fire emblem heroes you know those those, those kind of games kind of you know it felt like uh something like that and yeah because uh, but the, you know, it's definitely not as fulfilling to get uh the girls or whatever um from gotch the the uh the actual gotcha uh, summoning or whatever you want to call it but um there are there's some girls you can you can pick up from doing sub stories and stuff like that and um i thought that was a you know kind of a nice way of rewarding some people or whatever if um they're really into the sub stories and uh yeah so i i uh surprisingly spent a lot of a lot of time with um with the cabaret club game but uh understandably that is the way to make the most money uh with uh, some uh, with the most simplicity or whatever like it the um, performance to reward ratio it's you know very very apparent that um, you know the cabaret club is the way to go if you want a lot of money in a short amount of time and once you kind of exploit that you know, grinding can be pretty easy you, you know you just use a cabaret club for money and then you um, you eat uh, which is the key to getting all that experience, and then you eat the um, the app stem uh, RX, which uh, takes up the most hunger out of your gauge, and then you just rinse and repeat. Just uh, eat, and then buy more app stem and uh, app stem RX or half or whatever, and then you consume that, and then you consume more food, and you can you can, you can probably fight along your way, but um, otherwise, really, it's that's the deal when it comes to like um what you want to do for grinding to getting all those levels and uh max out your stats and and all that fun stuff so um and uh, speaking of gameplay the gameplay um with the experience 
the the six different kinds of experiences makes it in there uh with from uh excuse me from uh yakuza 6 so um for those who are familiar with yakuza 6 you'll definitely be right at home with yakuza kiwami too if anyone wants to you know uh pick it up so and as i kind of kind of mentioned with the sub stories there those are much enjoyable as always they're really uh fun you know ways to kind of like uh balance the serious tones of yakuza with the goofy very outlandish tones you know what i mean uh these sub stories are just really ridiculous like there's a guy uh who has like this baby fetish and stuff like that or there's a um you know there's a singer that's you know really shy or whatever or there's this musician that's terrible at singing you know that, that kind of thing and those kind of like stories are really enjoyable and kind of um because they're relatable to some sense and there's just stories that are just ridiculous and um goofy and weird and that's just um kind of like the icy on a cake sort of it just not like i said it's just not it's a nice way to like balance out the serious tones with the hokiness um that that's that comes from this game and uh not to mention the uh you know the heat action as well that kind of adds to the, the hokiness plus the serious tones um to the nature of this game the music was uh, very enjoyable as well um, from Kiyomi too. I really enjoy the battle theme from uh, from Sultan Bori. Every time you you know run into some goons or thugs or yakuza gangs or whatever, um, the music go that music comes on and that's, that was like really cool. It kind of has that like bit of that jazz feel to it. It's, you know, kind of big band sort of you know action sort of um, uh, jazz to it. I, that's a really cool choice to uh, go with, and that, that was. Um, uh, that was one of my favorite things from Sotin Bori. It's just the fact that when you fight um, in Sotin Bori, that music goes on. It's just it's so cool. It's um, it's really catchy, and um, I would love to uh, get my hands on the soundtrack uh, once I do, or once I uh, get the chance. And um, yeah, I just you know probably blast out my car or something. You know, um, it's you know it's such a such a great choice for um, for something like Sotin Bori. Now, um, when it comes to Kamurocho, it's you know you're you're you know um, playing with the uh, the standard rock sort of you know kind of get in your get in your uh, enemies' faces sort of uh, rock or soundtrack, and that's always a you can't go wrong with that. And um, and overall, the, the music in the game is uh, pretty good um, for the most part for Kiwami too. Last thing I want to talk about uh, for the game is uh, Majima. Majima was added into Kiyomi 2. This is completely new from Yakuza 2. It was never playable until now. Although this is just a very bonus thing, so there's not gonna, you're not gonna get too much out of it other than the fact that you get to play as Majima for a bit. It's just a nice little like reminder from Yakuza 0, and uh, he looks great with the um, the the Dragon Engine, and he animates uh, great. His attacks are really cool, and uh, you'll see some of his heat actions from uh, the old games and um that's that's just really cool from majima and uh it just makes me wish for more but it, it kind of just makes sense and it's uh it is definitely something good to play in between the game uh, the main game rather than after the main game like like i did and um uh, there are some rewards you can do uh if you donate um have uh, majima donate for uh kiryu and stuff you'll get some award out of that which is kind of neat but yeah, otherwise it's 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 a very bonus thing. Don't expect too much out of it, and uh, I think you'll have a good time, good time with it. It is Majima, so everyone loves Majima, and I think that's really cool that they even um, add that much to it in in the first place. Now on to the uh, dislikes about the Kiwami 2 game. Um, it's not it's definitely not the perfect game, so um, I definitely have some things to say about, and um, a lot of it comes from. The, the gameplay, I'm just going to go straight into it. The gameplay um, could definitely use some more work, in my opinion. Uh, not that the mechanics themselves are bad. It's just that it just, it just need to add more to it. I mean, um, there are some heat actions that are missing from the game. Like, you kind of just wish that, um, you know, he does a, a lot of the heat actions from his days of using the the rush style, the, the brawler style, and also the destroyer style. Or beast, excuse me. And... Um, you, you kind of see some some of the beasts when you're uh, when you're using extreme heat mode, but otherwise you don't see too much from those three styles. Like you don't really see any reminders of it, other than some of the uh, the punching and stuff like that. But it's I don't know, it, it could have used way uh, used more. I, I wish some um, those actions 
heat actions uh, from those old games made it into um, into this one at least. But you know, if they're gonna call it Kiwami, which means extreme in Japanese, they should at least add a lot um, as much as they can with the heat actions. You know, to make it really fun. This is the, this is the new game after all, for, um, quote unquote, and they should you know be able to add stuff to it. You know, um, again, if they're gonna be extreme about it, just go all out with the ha um, the, the the combat. It is fun for what it has, but um, you'll you know a lot of people I can understand it if they grow tired of it um, pretty quick pretty quickly because um, you know they're they're you know, again there's some heat actions that are missing and and some of the heat actions kind of just uh, lack that finesse that you find from like. Yakuza Zero, or um, Ki uh, even the first Kiwami game. I, I really enjoy the first Kiwami game just because it it held that essence of Zero, which was some of the you know some of the most fun looking heat actions ever. You know, and um, of course, like I said before, the gameplay borrows a lot from Yakuza Six, and even then, there's some heat a missing heat actions from there, which is really weird. But um, you know, for example, um, whenever the opponent is stunned and it's like he's like facing down you can uh if you have your heat extreme heat action on you can approach to him you can either do like a power bomb or the german suplex or whatever if he is you know facing downward on, on the ground and has that stun like stars over his head you can like do something with that but you can't convert that in, into a heat action in this game which is unfortunate and weird that they didn't Add all the heat actions from Yakuza 6. I would have loved to see something like that. And also, of course, some of the new ones or some of the things that are some of the heat actions that are reminiscent from uh, Yakuza 2. And mind you, I did actually watch the heat actions from the old Yakuza 2 game. And yeah, you know, there um, it's if you compare it side by side, if you you know want to uh, compare it by quantity, yeah, maybe it, it may be um, a similar thing. But if you look at the the animation for some of the uh, heat actions for um, just Yakuza 2, um, it that one has more energy to it, in, in my opinion. Uh, there, you know, one example that really comes to mind is when um, Kiryu is by, you know, when you're fighting on the bridge on Sultan Bori, and uh, you're right by the river. Um, Kiryu can throw the the enemy over overboard, pretty much into the water. And in Yakuza 2, he just throws, he just hurls them uh, before they fall into the, the river. But um, in Kiwami 2, he kind of just shoves them into the water, which is, you know, a little more lackluster in my opinion. Um, that I don't know. That's just my personal thing. I, I find that um, the older game it even has like that finesse, that Yakuza just juice to it. That you know, I would love to would have would have loved to see in a Dragon Engine, but we kind of like missed that in this game. So um, and even like the heat actions when you're fighting with people, like when you have allies on your team, um, on your uh, allies with you, uh, like uh, Date or <clears throat> could be uh, Daigo or. Um, anyone else that's male, for example, um, they don't really do much uh, when it comes to heat actions. You know, they don't have the power bomb from the key, uh, from um, the first Yakuza game or um, or Kiwami or even Zero, of course. Now that, that move was really cool, and I would have loved to just repeatedly use that because it was such a, such a cool move. Because you know, it involves with your partner doing the power bomb, like a sit down sit down power bomb, and then you you stomp them to finish them off. Things like that, I would love to would have seen with that Dragon Engine, but you know that's you know my common complaint from Yakuza Six, I think, and um, this is no exception. Is you know once again they kind of just um, held back for some reason, even though this is supposed to be the, the Extreme Edition. You know what I mean? So um, that was something a little uh, that disappointed me uh, um, for a little bit, but um, for what it has though, it is still satisfying. You, you know the way you hit people and stuff like that. The, the kicks and all that are still satisfying and some of the heat actions are really cool to see especially with when um when you have like certain companions like throw stuff uh at you like you know they throw you like some certain weapon like uh for example there's like this guy from the restaurant he throws you like these onion sticks with leaks 
and you can like use them as cali sticks and you just whack the hell out of um you know anyone the thugs or whatever um that's kind of cool um the plunger though was really really funny to see because um he just literally just uses the opponent like a toilet pretty much and just you know plunges the hell out of him and that was um, really funny i think that was probably like the most like out outrageous but you know uh memorable uh heat action when it comes to those kind of heat actions that's you know pretty much all i gotta say i mean um it's just it could have just used it could have used more maybe um they could work on the heat actions in the future but um they could definitely work on the partner heat actions whenever they can um Kaoru, uh it remains the same for the most part so i'll i'll let that pass and it does look cool whenever you pull it off so i'll, I'll give that a pass um and uh yeah just this just gotta work on the 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 male uh partners you know like date or whoever um they i don't know man it's just i think i've only seen two from from that uh situation so i feel like they should really work on that if you're gonna if they're gonna do like a kiwami three four and five i hope to see something different i just hope to see more of it that's all i want to see uh, for for Yak the future Yakuza game, so maybe uh the maybe Yaku the uh, the new Yakuza game with the new protagonist um each uh, I think it was his name was Ichiban. Uh, hopefully that's different with him since he's gonna be a different character, so he might do something cool or something completely different or something. I I, I would look forward to see the new characters um hit actions, but um anyways the karaoke is the next one I you know disliked. It's kind of a minor complaint sort of, but um I was once again disappointed uh there's really not much uh from the karaoke uh mini game um i don't think i even seen any of the uh, animated ones maybe majima has one but really otherwise there's not much going on with the karaoke i mean i don't know what's going on like why can't i just um you know like i said like why can't uh from before why can't i just add the old ones from like zero and uh whatever and uh throw it into this game but you know, once again, they kind of just um, overlooked, I guess, and they wanted to focus on something else, like Clan Creator, which is once again made into this game. And um, I gave it a chance once more, and I'm just like not feeling it. I, you know, it's such a weird thing to see from Yakuza. I don't, I know that Yakuza is supposed to have like different kind of like mini games, but I don't know. Something about the RTS thing is just not working for me. Um, it's kind of neat i guess and all but i don't know it just doesn't it, it really didn't um uh so it didn't really sell me it didn't really sell it for me so um i i really you know had, didn't spend too much time with the client creator once again so i, I wasn't really feeling it so said no thanks and didn't really play client creator a whole lot past the tutorial uh stage and that's pretty much it on that one so um, I pretty much, uh, think it, that's pretty much it for, uh, the Kiwami 2 review, I mean. So that's pretty much it on my likes and dislikes for Kiwami 2, um, but overall, I had fun with it. Uh, it's another Yakuza game I, you know, uh, would definitely re like to remember, you know, or look back on it. Um, the story was great, the story, uh, the characters were, you know, really awesome, um, very entertaining, uh, and... and the scene, the action scenes were really cool to look at, and the you know the the thrills and the twists and stuff like that were still really really um, awesome, and it, um, it, it just you know I really like that Yakuza, Yakuza, the Yakuza storytelling you know once again, and you definitely see that in Kiwami too. So if you're really into the story lines for Yakuza, this is definitely something to pick up. And um, despite the things I complain about, I still like this game. So uh, with everything all you know wrapped up, I would give this game a like a like a seven out of ten overall because um, the story, while the story and the graphics and the mini games and all that stuff, like I said, were great, the core element uh, is missing some uh, some some chunks, which is the gameplay. I feel like if they really you know go all out or go uh, go you know. Uh, more balls deep with the gameplay the combat especially um and and uh, i forgot to mention that the experience system is a little much um i would like to see it come back to being really simple just have one single you know experience point system and just be able to buy moves and power up your stats and all all that fun stuff that way 
you know that you know once again that that stuff from yakuza 6 you know carried over to here and it's you know now that i um i you know play around with it more it's like i'm starting to n uh, not like it a little more than i do like it it's just i don't know it's just kind of weird but um i, I mean it, it it's tolerable but um i i you know i would like to see a much more simpler um experience system you know it's it's kind of it's, it's a little much in my opinion uh with all the the different kinds of experiences you need to pick up like uh like knowledge and technique and whatever it is like charisma i think it was also but um point being it's just a little too much and i think they need to kind of simplify it more um i do like the orb system that they, that they have going on with the fist of north star game and you know which is a lot more simple and maybe that's something they should, um, maybe they'll return to uh, for future Yakuza games. But um, we're probably gonna not gonna see this go away anytime soon. But um, ho hopefully, maybe it'll it'll be like fine tuned or something like that. But um, yeah, otherwise, uh, I still enjoyed it, and I still recommend it to all the Yakuza fans. Um, it's still really fun. It's it's Yakuza, and it doesn't uh, definitely. Uh, has all, uh, the most of the essence. Um, you may be a little disappointed with the combat um, this time around, but um, it's still pretty satisfying to hit, uh, especially some of the uh, heat actions that you know you, uh, you can get in the game. They're pretty cool to see, uh, especially with the Kali sticks and the Tomfas. And the, the weapons are really fun to use actually in this game with the heat actions. But the um, the hand in hand combat is a little lackluster, is probably what I should say. But, um, anyways. It's a 7 out of 10. I ha uh, still recommend it to the fans and stuff like that. And it's still a fun Yakuza game. So that was pretty much my thoughts on it. I was glad to uh, get my hands on it. But now, um, you know, we have the other Yakuza game, a.k.a. Fist of North Star Lost Paradise. And I'll do my best to do a full review on it. I want to, you know, definitely want to do something with that a little more than something like this. And um, I will focus on Fist of North Star whenever I can. I'll stream it. Um, and I'll do my best to uh, get that review out whenever I can. And uh, if you guys, you guys want to, you know, check me out on those streams, the Twitch link will be in the description below to, you know, kind of check me out playing uh, Fist of North Star. That was a fun game, but yeah, I, I definitely got to play more to see what it really is all about. Um, but anyways, this has my review and thoughts on Yakuza Kiwami 2. And if you have any comments or anything uh, about the game, leave it down below. Love to check them out. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Uh, really helps out and always uh, um, supports the channel. Really appreciate it, guys. And uh, if you want to uh, further support the channel, um, all the links will be in the des description below. And um, yeah, th uh, thanks again for uh, watching my review on Dr. Kiwami 2. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sean out.